Hi, Carol again from Tiny Space Health. Okay, today we're going to go through some back exercises, but a lot of technique, okay? So it's not a huge workout at all. It's more on technique for getting some, doing some back exercises on the floor. Most of them are based around Pilates. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, I'm going to be talking to the camera a lot, turning my head. When you're doing it, I don't want you to turn your head so much, but I guess you're gonna have to keep your eye on me. Okay, so starting off, we're gonna do one that's an alternate arm and leg. Okay, so first of all, you're positioning lying down here because you get you're bracing your abs in here, so as if you've got like an ice cube underneath your belly button, you're sucking it in. The rest of your body is one straight line, but you just have your nose grazing just grazing the, the mat. I'm using a towel on the mat, but a mat. And from this position, just make yourself nice and long. And we're going to lift one leg up and back down. And then the other leg up and down. So all the while bracing your tummy and just really focusing on the nose, just grazing the mat. So we do a couple of those. And if you're feeling okay with that, what I want you to do is the opposite arm goes with the opposite leg. So we're lifting up with the right leg and the left arm lifts and back down. So it's up for two and down for two. Just alternating one at a time. Opposite arm, opposite leg reaching. Nice and slow and controlled. Working the glutes, working the back, working a little bit of the upper back as well. Anything to do with mobility in the shoulders is going to help. I like to do this one as a warm up. Okay, so from here, Another one I like to do is put my hands at the front and I just do the swimmer, but just with my legs. So tiny little movements with the legs, nose grazing the mat again. So even though I'm getting and looking up at the camera to talk to you, don't do that. Keep your head down, okay? Little tiny movements with the legs. Tiny, tiny movements. Fast movements at the end of the sort of, you might do a 10 second, 15 second one. You go faster. Okay, and then bring it down. Do alternate arm and leg again. So if you're doing this with me, just do alternate arm, alternate leg, ice cube under the belly button. And just do a couple more, say two more. And then coming down, have a little stretch if you like, push yourself up, go to child's pose for a rest, Just sit back here. I like to do a bit of combination of yoga and Pilates myself. Okay, coming forward, next exercise, so we've got two different ones. This one we're just going to have our hands down at the side here. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades in together. So we go here for you, relax your shoulders down, okay? So I'm actually going to just do it how you should be doing it. Don't look at the camera, <laughs> okay? So head is down, belly button, ice cube under there, nose grazing the mat, shoulders, relax them down. Now squeeze them in, squeeze them up and in as if your shoulder blades are being pulled together and then we're lifting. So keeping our feet down on the floor, holding it there, so eye gaze is toward the floor, not forward. And then we release down. As we release down, the shoulders go down as well. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades in and lifting. Doesn't really matter too much where you breathe in this, just as long as you breathe, okay? Don't worry about it too much. Just try to get the movement right. So do that again. Squeeze the shoulder blades and lift. Legs here, not too tensed, just relaxed a little bit. And coming back down. One more of those. 
pull them in, lifting up. So in yoga, this is upper locust, they're called upper locust, where you're here. And coming back down. So that's a Pilates move and a yoga move really together. Um, let's try doing that, lift up, and then we go into locust. We'll go to full locust. So body long, shoulders down first. Lift the shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades in. So really stretch these fingertips towards your toes. Now we're really pressing out with those feet as we lift. So that's upper locust. And then we're going to go to full locust. We lift the legs up. We're pushing these fingers towards the toes, pushing the feet away towards the opposite wall. Three, lift a little bit higher. Two and one. Okay, we'll do that one more time. Give the legs a little bit of a shake. Okay, bring the shoulders in. You'll pull them up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lifting and then lift the legs. If that's too much for you, don't lift the legs, okay? Just keep the legs on the floor like we did before. We're just holding it. Four, three, lifting more. Two and one, coming down. So that's locust. Okay, have a little break. Come back, stretch out your back again. So the next one that we're going to do is a Pilates move. We'll be using the arms a bit more to, um, it's going to make it a little bit harder. So if you found the one where we're going here and just lifting up, if that was enough for you and you're feeling that a little bit in your back and in your shoulders, just stick with that. But I really like this one. Actually, honestly, can't remember what it's called. But anyway, um, so we're going to reach out this one so I'll just show you what first position belly button ice cube nose just grazing the mat arms lift up so like we did before palms facing one another we shoot the arms out then we turn the hands away and we scoop them around and lift so now we're in upper locus then we go shoot and bring them in here so as you shoot you're exhaling you go whoo and inhale and lift shoot inhale lift and come back down okay so I think you've got that so do that with me go ahead let's go okay we're gonna do about four of the shoots okay so lift up inhale exhale inhale big circle round and lift exhale shoot Inhale, lift, exhale, shoot, inhale, lift. All the time my feet are on the ground here. One more, shoot, inhale, lift, hold, three, two, one, and down. Should we do one more lot of those? No, we won't. You know what, dude, I'm just mainly doing technique today. Just a little bit of work, but technique. Last one I'm going to show you is one that you've probably, probably seen people do. If you go to the gym, you've probably seen people do this one a bit. Well, they do it in yoga class. Go into this horse position here. So hands shoulder width apart. Spread the hands, spread the fingers. Weight quite even. And we're just going to push one leg out. So one leg's holding out. So we're working the glutes here. Also working a little bit into the abs and the back. Hold that there, and then bring it back down and in. Other side, push it out. You can flex the foot, you can point the foot. It doesn't really matter too much. Just as long as you're keeping your back straight. You don't want to be up here. You don't want the leg really down here. You just want it sort of flat with your back. And then we bring it in. So there, that's where you can, you can stay there. I want to work a little bit harder. We do alternate arm and leg. So we're pushing out that leg, then the opposite arm goes out. So we've got a bit of a balance going here. But we're working our core to keep that, our core, stomach, our back, to keep ourselves in one straight line. Three, two, and one. Bring it down. Other way. Opposite arm to the leg coming out. Just try to 
it's a little bit of a balance as well. Working the glutes, working a lot of the body in this one. Hold it. Three, two, and one. And bring it down. So you could do that one. You could do the one with just one leg. Or um, I'll just add on a little bit if you want to do something a little bit different. Not that different. Okay, <laughs> push it out. Push it out. And then we slowly bring it in, nice and slowly, arching the spine. And then we're going to slowly push it out. We want to keep it controlled and slow. Bring it in, arching the spine a little bit here. And then pushing it out. Bring it down. And we'll try the other side. If you're finding that too difficult, just do the leg. Just do the leg out and in. Here we go. So just do the leg out and in if you want. Or the arm, I'll do the leg out and in. And in. Arching. So maybe you can be there. Or you can be there. Out. And in. Nice and slow and controlled. And push it out. Hold it. And back down. Okay. So, that's just to show you a couple of ones that you can do at home for your back. Um, and your core. There'll be more coming. Um, I'm going to show some of these. I'm going to do a few workouts with a couple of these ones coming out really soon. So keep your eye out. That's mainly the technique. So thanks for joining me and see you next time. Thanks. Bye.